So Ricky, a couple of weeks on since Mundine against Rabchenko. With the uh, benefit of hindsight, looking back, how do you see it panning out? Well, I've watched the video several times and I still think Sergei had very, very hard lines, to be honest with you. I, uh, you know, it wasn't the worst decision I've ever seen, but I mean, there was no doubt for me Sergei, you know, won the uh, won the fight, you know, but uh, but he didn't get it, so it was, um, you know, it's a shame really. We've had you know Sergey at number one and number two in the in the world rankings for some time now, and it's a it's a shame that he lost. But I mean, you've got to give credit to Anthony Mundi, and if I'm personally honest, I didn't think he had that performance in him, you know. So you know, fair play to him, but I feel very very aggrieved that um, Sergey didn't get the decision. Yeah, two Melbourne judges voted for. For Mundine, you know, um, yeah, bit gutted, but yeah. I mean, Mundine said since as well that Sergey is the best body puncher that he's ever faced, and that he can bounce back. So, something to work on and something yeah, to come back. Of course, with. he can bounce back. You know, at the end of the day, he's you know he's he's not he's lost one fight. You know, and he's not going to and going to just drop out the top ten, is he? You know, so he's still there for you know for for Sergey. You know, hopefully, uh, May, Floyd Mayweather will make his mind up whether he wants to stay at welterweight or light middle. And then when he vacates the, the title, there's still a chance there for Sergey. So, yeah, yeah, we, we've got to keep optimistic. You know, it will, it will bounce back. Also in Australia, you obviously had Zanik <coughs> Zakianov scored a big second round knockout over there. He's closing on the world title. Is that something that we're going to possibly look at in the new year? Yeah, I think he will fight for the world title in the new year. You know, against the Japanese guy, I forget his name at the, the, the minute, but he's a very, very good fighter. And it'd be a difficult fight for, for Zanik, but he's definitely got it in it to him to, to win his number one WBC now. So I think early next year, you know, we'll uh, that's the one we'll be going for. We might have to go to Japan to to to, to, to win it, but um, I think so. I think Zanik's really got it got it in him to, to beat them. It'll be a tough fight, but he's got it in him to beat him. Yeah. I mean, in that fight as well in Australia, he had to show a different side of his game a little bit, didn't he? Because he, he came back and um, flattened the guy. It was, yeah. He, he took a, a good right hand, you know, that, that wobbled him, you know, but um, he just caught him cold in the first round. But, he, you know, he, he quickly gathered his uh, his senses together and then come back and knocked him out in the, the second round. He's improving, you know, all the time, Zanet, to be honest with you. Very heavy-handed, very, very strong. Technically, he's, he's had a bit more, you know, finesse to his game now as well his movement is a lot lot better um but I, I think i think he will win the world title no uh, no no doubt but uh yeah we'll probably have a, a, another fight early in the year like a warm-up fight and then uh, then we'll probably go for it yeah another guy closing on the world title is lucas <coughs> brown he's drawn up a list of opponents that he wants to fight before he fights for a world title it includes fury chisora deontay wilder do you think all those are possibilities of course they are you know and lucas you know what we're going to do is in the top is in the top five now by practically all the world governing bodies so it's our job just to to keep him busy and when when one of the opportunities raises its head we'll uh, we'll take it for him but lucas is uh, lucas to fight anyone you know to be honest with you he's begging me for for all these fights he wants to fight the best you know and it's it's very you know, it's nice when you've got a fighter that wants to, to fight the best, you know, when you get so many people that, are, you know, duck and dodge people. Lucas certainly isn't one of them. He'd fight every one of them in the, in the space of a week, Lucas. He's really determined, really ambitious. And uh, But it's our job to make the right move at the right time for him. And when we do, I think he has, has a good chance of winning the world title. Now, looking towards next month, <clears throat> a couple of your other kids out next month as well, the Upton brothers, or two of them at least anyway, Sonny and Anthony in London. Obviously, time to put on the show for them too as well. Yeah, to be honest, yeah, they're, they're they're improving all the time. You know, it's going to be a big night for for Sonny to come back and bounce back from his, you know, his defeat last time. But he's 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 looking better and better all the time in the gym. You know, I mean, I've got every confidence that he'll bounce back and put in a performance that'll have people, you know, saying fair play to him. Uh, but yeah, the other boys are improving all the time. Nice one before before Christmas and then in the new year. You know, they, they, they'd probably be knocking on for titles in in their own right, maybe a British Masters or a Central Area or something like that, you know, in order to just get that first belt round the, round the way. So uh, it's exciting times for the boys, yeah. For people that don't know, that last bill in London, what actually happened with Sonny? Because it was very controversial, wasn't it? He got caught with a, with a, with a, with a shot, which, you know, the nothing wrong with that good solid shot he took it well i think he was just getting over it you know and he was just shaking it off and the, the, the lad turned him and then and then hit him with about six or seven punches in the back of the head and the back and the referee stopped it which uh you know there's no problem with that you know we all get hit with a shot you know but i think he'd he'd he'd, he'd ridden the we'd ridden the storm if you if you like but uh i think it was i think it was bad refereeing if the if the if the truth be known so 
Uh, but yeah, it would go out there and put it right. He's looking better and better all the time in the in the gym. So I've, I've never, he's not dented his confidence, which is a credit to him as well.